It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're going to go over Terrains 101, Man Walking Around the World. I'm going to show you how to use some of the basic tools to create this. This is what we're looking for. You're going to make your own world from a terrain, and you're going to have a man that's going to actually walk around that terrain with your name at the bottom. To start out, we're going to add in a terrain. I will show you that. We're going to use the Paint, Raise, and Lower tool to make some mountains. We're going to use the Lower tool to make a ravine, kind of a little a ravine down the middle. We're going to use the Paint Height tool to paint a street across that little ravine and then we're going to use the paint texture tool so you can color your terrain then we'll use the paint trees and the paint grass flowers tool then you'll simply add in your person with your name and you will be done so we're still in our previous project standard assets what we're going to do is we're going to go to assets scene and here you can see we have that sample scene Let's double click on that. Let's actually rename it My Terrain with Explorer. So inside of here is where we're going to build out our terrain. I'm going to right click, I'm going to do 3D Object, and I'm going to select Terrain right here. And let's zoom to that terrain. You can see this is a terrain. It looks like a plane but it's actually not. When you click on terrain, you can tell it's not a plane because over here you have some different tools that you can use. The tool we're going to use right now for step one, the first part of this is here, making mountains. We're going to use the raise and lower tool and for this we're going to do a bunch of raises. So first let's do this part. I click on my terrain, this first one I can do you can see it has a bunch. Create neighbor terrains. That's if you wanted to make other worlds adjacent to that. Razor lower tool, paint texture, set height, smooth height, and stamp terrain. We're going to use the razor lower tool. You can see there's a bunch of different brushes that you can use. And how it works is as you click and drag, this terrain will raise. Or if I hold shift, and you can see that right here, hold shift and left to click to lower. So I want mine to be a little bit more and you can see you can also increase the brush size. So let's just do really quickly, again I'm doing this as a quick introduction, you can spend more time that way you can get something closer to this. I'm just showing you how to use the tools but I want you to use your creativity to make something very nice. So I'm just going to quickly again click back on my terrain. I have my that. I've increased my brush tool and I'm just going to quickly click and drag around here. And you can see as you keep going over an area it makes it drag a lot higher. And I'm just going to really quickly for this intro video do that. And I might choose another brush if I wanted to. And every time you mess with this terrain, you're going to see down here it says baking. The more stuff you add to the terrain, the more time it's going to take you to bake. So you pretty much want to wait for this to finish baking before you do more stuff because you can get up to some high digits depending on your computer speed. So right now it's at 28 seconds. I'm just going to wait for that. And then I might make this a little bit higher using this brush or another brush. Let's see, that looks okay. I got 10 minutes. So it's pretty much rendering your scene. And when this is done, I'm going to go ahead and just go over it again. And again, I'm doing mines really fast. You can take your time and do this. So I want to make mines a little bit bigger, the brush. Uh, yeah, that works. So you can see now I can just like really go over this and make it really 
and you can see every time I add stuff it's it's going to make my rendering longer and longer and you can see this is kind of my terrain that I've made just with the raise razor lower tool and I'm gonna let it bake and you can see right here I have about a minute left for it to bake Okay, down here, it is done. So, again, you can spend more time to kind of make your heels, but what we're going for is something that looks like that. The next part, we want to use the same razor lower tool to make kind of a ravine or a valley down one part of it. So, I might make my valley... I'll make my valley go this way. I'll make my valley right through here. So again, select my terrain. I'm on the razor lower tool and you hold shift to lower. So I'm gonna come in here. I could actually choose another one and I'm gonna make it smaller, the brush smaller. And I'm going to make my valley like straight across here. So I'm just going to do this. I'm holding shift. And actually let's do something like that. And it's going to lower. And all I'm doing is holding shift. And you can see it's lowering it. So I'm making kind of a valley in the middle of my little terrain. So there you go. You can see I have a kind of a valley. And let's just make it a little bit bigger. And again, you can take your time on this. So here's my little ravine in my valley. So you can see it better there. And when we add colors, it'll look a lot better. So now, again, there's my little valley. I can smooth this stuff out. The paint height tool, we're going to build a little street that our guy's going to walk across. Paint height tool, again, I'm going to select my terrain. You see paint texture. It's the same height tool. Left click to set the height. Hold control and left click to sample a target height. So if I click here and I want to hold control and click, you can see it set that height to 57.7. If I click hold control and click, it set that height to zero. So I want it to be around here. I'm going to hold control and click. It made it 57. And what I'm going to do is just go back and forth across this. I'm going to make a little street that goes and what it's doing is it's painting everything right here to the height of 57 or lowering it to 57. So you can see here if we go this way it's going to raise everything to that height that I set. It's raising it or it is lowering it. So if I keep going back and forth, you will see a little road that I've painted across here. All I'm doing is simply clicking and dragging. And again, I'm doing this super fast just to explain these different tools to you. Again, I want you to spend a little bit more time getting used to these tools. So you can see this is what you're looking for you have a street that goes across this little valley with your stuff. Next thing you want to paint some textures, paint some trees and add in your guy. So to paint textures, I'm going to click on terrain. I'm going to select paint texture. You can see you don't have any textures right now, but that's the reason we use standard assets because they come. If you look here in standard assets, 
you see they have a bunch of different stuff for us and it's going to if I click on environment look at all these terrain assets surface textures it has all these guys in here if I go back to environment you can see it has water materials it has a bunch of stuff so that's why we downloaded standard assets it has a bunch of the stuff inside here for you so let's click back on terrain I'm going to click on edit terrain I'm going to do create layer and you can see here's all of this stuff that came with the standard assets so you see bark I'm going to look for something like cap and I'll double click on it and you can see what happens is it colors everything that original color and you can see it's baking while it's baking I'm going to go ahead and create a layer and let's add some others in here so I might add cliff albedo double click on that I'll click on create another layer but let's say I wanted to paint some green I'm going to create a layer and let's go look for here you go grill hillside opaco or grass rocky I'll double click on that I just want to do one more I got grassy rocky let's do grassy this so these are the terrain layers that I could use and all I have to do is simply select the layer and then I can start to paint on here. But I'm going to let this finish baking first. Again, as it bakes, you want to make sure. Alright, so now let's say I wanted like this area to be like this color here. I'll click on that. And then now all I simply have to do is I can actually paint it. And let's say I wanted this mountain to be like this. I simply could add stuff that's going to bake. So make sure once you add a little bit, let it bake. That way it doesn't slow down your computer. That's done. So let's say I wanted to paint this color. Select it and I can paint like that. Maybe I want this over here to be painted that color as well. And again, I am rushing through this so you all can get started. I'm just showing you. You can add different texture colors and you can paint them there. So that is what you do here using the paint texture tool to kind of paint um, your world. Next thing you're going to paint trees, add your person, and you will be done. So you can see it's still baking. I'm just going to select my terrain. I'm going to come here to... Okay, it's still baking. And I might want to use my smooth height tool and click the hour, click to average the terrain height and you see this is just kind of smooths it out being so rigid I can make my terrain a little bit more smooth and again I can use different stuff to kind of make it smoother versus being such a rigid area so I want you to play with these two different things let's let this finish baking and we're going to move on to this the paint trees and the paint flowers tools so I'm going to click on paint trees while that's baking, I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to add a tree. You can see, please assign a tree. Tree prefab is none. I'm going to click on this little dot. And all this came in our standard assets. So you can see there's a broadleaf tree. I'm going to add that in. Just go, let's just go add a couple trees. Edit trees, add trees. Let's go look for, let's look, uh, I did broadleaf. Let's do this type of tree. Do edit, add tree. Click on here. Standard assets has any other trees. You can see here's a different type of tree I could add. And let's just look for one more tree that we can add. Click on this. 
Come on down. He added that type of tree. And let's add a palm tree. So you can see we're done baking. Now, again, this is my really rough version of this. But since my paint trees, I've added these trees here. I can just simply click. And that added a couple palm trees there. You can see I can add some trees like that. Maybe I'll add some on the mountains, some various areas. Maybe I'll add a couple of these over here. And you can see it's going to start to bake. But you can see when you get closer, you can see all of the trees that I was able to add. Take your time. Make whatever you want to make. Last part is to simply add in your guy with your name. So how are we going to do that? Again, inside of standard assets, we have characters. We have a prefab. We have a third person. So again, I'm going to standard assets. I'm going to characters. I'm going to third person character. And I'm going to prefabs. You can see I have this here. And I'm just simply going to drag this guy into the thing, to the scene, and you can see that is how small he is. Look at how big those trees are. Let's just scale him up a little bit. So I'm use my scale tool like that, and I might move him here. And again, you want to make sure you add in your camera. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to do 3D text. So there is my player. So you can see I have this error here. I'm going to help reset package to default. So I'm going to click on yes. I'm going to do file save and file save project. You see it is rebaking this area. You can kind of see might take a while but here's a simple terrain that I've kind of made quickly for you with a character that I have. Ooh. And you can see when I press play, everything is kind of here. But I need my camera to be moved. So what I see, my third person is right here. I'm just going to copy this, come to my camera, and I'm going to paste that inside there. I'll click on this person, copy my Y, click on my camera. Place them inside of here. Copy my Z. Come to my camera. Paste this inside of here. So now you can see my camera is right here at the bottom. I'm going to bring it up. If I bring it back, you can see there is my person. And there we go. This is my little preview screen. So when I press play now, I can move with my arrow keys, but my camera is not following the person. So how can we get the camera to actually follow the person? Yes, you know how to do it in script, but I'm going to show you one way to actually do it inside of Unity. So we're simply going to make the camera a part of the third person. In the hierarchy, I'm going to drag camera and drag it into third person. So now the camera is a part of this. 
So when I move my third person, the camera will move because it's up inside of third person. So let me show you that. So now you can see I can look around in my world that I've created. The only thing you're missing is obviously your name. You want to right click on person. You're going to go to 3D object, 3D text. Obviously it's going to be my name. Here instead of saying hello world, obviously Jamie can't. Period. One. The size, let's make it something like 50. And you can see it's way too big. So for the name, I'll move it over. And I need to move it up. And I'll scale it down. So I'll simply scale, scale, scale. My move tool move it down. Now when I click on my camera, can I see it? No, I cannot. So you have to make sure so you can see this. The camera's over there. This is over here. So I can do the same thing, but I'm just going to simply drag it over. Now let's look at my camera. See it at the bottom. My name. I'm going to drag it up a little bit and I'm just playing with it. And you can see that there. Now if I press play, I can go explore the terrain that I made. And you can see at the edge of this, I kind of painted a different texture right here than I did on the grass. Let's show you the paint grass tool. And we'll be done with this. So I'm going to click back on my terrain. Here is paint grass. You can see paint details, I'll click on new brush, I'll scroll down and I'm gonna look for grass, you can see there's two here, I'm go ahead and add that in and I'm gonna make the size a lot smaller just so you can see some of this, I'm gonna put some grass here so you can see here and here are those brushes. You can jump. Let's go explore. So now I'm all the way at the ravine and you can see I can kind of walk around. So there you go. In this video I did a quick walkthrough of how to create a terrain and how to use. So there you go. In this video I've showed you how to use how to use the new game object terrains. We've used the paint tool to do Razor lower, paint texture, set height, smooth height. You, you can also click on the stamp terrain tool and play with that. We've gone over how to paint trees and add trees. We've gone paint details. And then you've added in your camera in your gameplays. Again, these are the steps on the class page. Simply raise different mountains using different brushes. You can lower making your valley, use the paint height tool to make a smooth street across. Then you're going to use the paint texture tool to kind of color however you want. You can add some trees all around your mountains, add in your person, add in your name, and then record the video of you walking around your own terrain.